Hello there, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Vasuvi Lasseline, and today I will explain you how to create your automatic portal filling system using my token product. These are the agenda of my video. Uh, first, I will give you a quick look, then, I will tell you about the source file where you will get it, and schematic diagram, PCB layout, code, and project in action. So let me give you a quick beautiful glance of our final project. This is how it looks in final form, running form. And these are the view and I will also give you a complete video of its working. So our next agenda is source file where you get our source files from my GitHub link provided in the description. You can also visit my GitHub profile. Here you can see I have provided uh, our source, uh, source file of our Arduino project. As you can see this is our complete code. And uh, I have also provided uh, PCB layout uh, that I have created on Proteus. As you can see this is our PDF file of our top silk and also bottom copper and this is our Proteus file. So you can download all our project file from the link given in the description and also you can download these files from my data profile with the name automatic water filling system using microcontroller and the components that we are required are Arduino Nano, Keypad, Buzzer, 5 volt relay, water pump, water flow sensor, 16 by 2 display, IR sensor, potentiometer to control the brightness of the LCD, resistor, DC jack, DC record, etching quarter, capacitor, LEDs. As if you do not want to create the PCB, you can just skip this process. Um, our next agenda is schematic diagram. Let's start with our main component keypad. Let's uh, these are the connections you have to make in order to connect your keypad with Arduino Nano. D11 from D11 pin to D4 pin you have to connect all the parallel connections with our keypad 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 are exactly connected with our Arduino pins these are the exact connection you do not have to make any differences and for our buzzer you have to give the ground signal and the positive signal D12 for our LCD, you, these are the protections we have to make a from A0 to A5. Uh, these are the complete protection view. You do not uh, need to change any of it. And remember that these are uh, the read write pin should be grounded, and these two pins are to turn on the back LED of our LCD. You have to give separate power to it, but uh, be remember that. You have also need to put a resistor 330 ohms in order to uh, drive our LED correctly. If you do not uh, use resistor, then your LED will burn out in some minutes. And these are the connections for our water flow sensor. Uh, you have to give ground. In signal, I have used the sensor signal D2 for our water flow sensor. Remember that and which for vcc i have given our 5 volt as you can see i have given external power source to our project as our laptop power is not enough to uh, run our complete project because the pump required so much power and in order to give the power to pump i have used uh, these two pin positive and negative to drive my pump and uh, for relay signal i have used as you can see i have used d3 pin here you can see when i hover it it high got highlighted pump and for relay signal i have used as you can see i have used d3 pin here you can see when i hover it it high got highlighted And for our IR sensor, uh, I have used IR sensor in order to detect my bottle. And as you can see, I have used D13 pin as the signal for our IR sensor. So that's it for our schematic diagram view. And let me give you a quick look, ease or quick for, and uh, you can say easy view of our schematic diagram. 
so our next agenda is PCB layout uh, as you can see that I have already explained you all the schematic diagram of uh, our project as you can see this is our master look of our PCB and do let me know your uh, opinion on my PCB I have got the text or top layer and also bottom copper layer top silk layer and also bottom copper layer uh, for as you can see I have wrote upside down inverted view in our PCB bottom when we press our photo paper on our bottom copper layer then it and then all the schematic diagram got inverted so that's why I have wrote this in I already wrote it direction so that when I press this on my PCB I got all the text in correct orientation Dash on the lay. So our next agenda is code. Uh, I have used Arduino Nano for our programming. So as you can see, I have included the library of keypad. Uh, you have to download the keypad library same as I am using as this one this one library from mark stanley and for liquid crystal ID, you have to download this library from adafruit and let's go through the code first of all you have to define your keypad in my case i am using 4x4 keypad for liquid crystal display i have defined all the pins that, my, uh, that are connected with my liquid crystal display then we have defined our flow sensor pin pump pin the IR sensor we have used in order to detect our bottle and you can see this is the master check of our project because if it did not detect our bottle it will turn off the pump even when it is running and I have defined the buzzer pin here that will uh, turn on when our bottle will fill these are the array of our keys keypad these are all the initialization of our code here is the start of our while loop first of all we are reading the value of our IR sensor and which will be stored in our byte variable then we have used switch statement and it will detect if it is one then no bottle is detected as IR sensor will always give opposite signal when something is not present uh, in front of it when it is giving one signal that means no bottle is detected and if it is giving zero signal that means it has found something some bottle in front of it this is our check of our volume we have also added our check in the form of star uh, in order to help the customer because if someone entered wrong value in the program they can easily delete that value by using the star button and for enter and running our program you have to press the d key and from this code code dot int our code will be converted into the integer and will be stored in our value of volume uh, the main component of our code is this value 5.7 this is our calibration factor uh, it is different for me it will be different for you your sensor because uh, it will depend on the value of our flow rate sensor uh, in my case I, if i have put 5.7 then it is uh, it has exactly calibrated you have to change this value according to your base uh, if you increase this value then your bottle will require more water to fill up the amount that you entered and if you decrease this value then your water flow sensor speed uh, will be increased that means you add less water and your value will be higher so in order for your project to uh, perfectly calibrate it you have to change this value according to your water flow sensor and this is the cover complete master look of our 
bulb wrap. So let's go to our next agenda of our project in action. So this is our project. We have made an automatic water bottle fake filling machine. Made. First of all, we check the portal here. If the portal will come, then we will have the flow of the system. After that, when the bottle will come, then you will have the setup of the volume. Like this, this is a 500 ml bottle. So now, if I put it in 500 ml, it will come from 500 ml. And it will enter from D. So this system will be on. Here, the water flow sensor will come from the pump. The water flow sensor will come from the pump. बोतल हमारी बढ़ रही है और यहाँ पे हमारा टोटल वॉल्यूम भी आ रहा है ये हमारा फ्लो सेंसर काम कर रहा है